Yeah, there are vampires involved. That's right. Um, this is running Ravenloft as a one shot for Halloween. Did you want to do that? Well, I'm going to explain how to go about doing this. And I've tried to make it as simple as possible and as easy as you can possibly imagine so that nobody can screw it up. Like, you know, you can't have any problems. Um, that's no guarantee, of course, with everything that we do in the, in the world. It's, it's possible to mess things up. But this is my advice to you with regarding uh, running the original Ravenloft. I'm going to go straight for the original Ravenloft. I do have some notes on how to use the Curse of Strahd if you have the Curse of Strahd and don't want to try and get the original Ravenloft either as a PDF or the original adventure. So how do you run the original Ravenloft adventure uh, as a one shot when it's such a long adventure? Like that's quite difficult, okay? Because it's, it's still 35, 40 pages, 45 pages long. Um, well, you're not gonna use everything. That's the first thing is you simply don't use everything in the adventure. Most of it will not get used during your one shot and you don't attempt to do so, okay? It's just there as notes for if they go in a particular direction. Um, you could also use a small part of the Curse of Strahd if you're going to do this. But you're only going to really use the main castle, the Ravenloft castle. Because essentially that's identical to the original Ravenloft adventure that was put out. So that's what you focus on. You can use some of the other stuff that's around it, but only if the players go off on a strange tangent. Get the player characters to Ravenloft Castle as quickly as possible. Whatever you're doing with the, your adventure as a one-shot, that is your key motivation, as you need to get them to the castle fast. Use the three stages of uh, any kind of storytelling, so that is your beginning, your middle, and your end. Your end will be your climax, and I'll explain each stage. You can have the player character start at level one or at level five. I don't think it really matters too much. I'm going to recommend having them start at level one so that a straight out fight is just not feasible. We don't want them to just go in and engage in a battle with Strahd straight away. Uh, in fact, we want them to be terrified of the possibility. Uh, we want them to try to escape in some way. The players determine what parts of the adventure are going to be run by the dungeon master. So I know I've seen a lot of people do um, give advice on how to do this, but instead of the dungeon master forcing them down a route and trying to follow a particular storyline and a certain number of events and certain locations, forget about all of that. Okay, we're talking about Dungeons and Dragons where players make choices and then they have to live with those choices and we want them to do this with um, Ravenloft as well. Uh, and so you're going to let them direct the story as much as possible, but there are going to be some provisors. So by getting the players to make choices, they will determine why, where you go, okay, with regard to exploring the castle and potentially some of the other locations around the castle, but you don't have a lot of time, so you can't muck around. The beginning. So how do you begin? I want you to start your adventure with the characters traveling to Castle Ravenloft in the black carriage or any kind of carriage, okay? They're going there for a particular reason. Feel free to describe the travel through the mist or through the gates into the land of Barovia. Uh, you can also describe and tell them a little bit about the, the village as they pass by, the village of Barovia. And then even you can even have them pass by a, a gypsy camp. And then they go to the castle. That is their, they have an appointment. They are supposed to be there. The adventure hook can be anything that you want to use. Frankly, you can use anything, but it must involve traveling to Castle Ravenloft. Because that's what, the, that's what the whole story is all about. It's all about the um, encounter with Strahd and Castle Ravenloft. The player's characters can choose to stop at the village of Barovia if they want to ask questions and explore. But they can't be late for their appointment. So if they don't get to their appointment on time at the castle, well that just ruins everything for us. Okay, then we have to change the way we do everything. So have them, as soon as you get an hour, uh, you've got an hour left of your session, the last hour of your session, they must leave um, the Barovia village and head off towards uh, the castle because they will be late for their appointment. They have a, a dinner invite uh, with um, Strahd at Castle Ravenloft, so they must be there on time. The same thing applies to any player characters who choose to stop at the gypsy camp. If they decide they want to do that, okay, uh, they, can they can, and they can have their fortune told by Madame um, uh, Ava, uh, but that's 
something you still need to remember if you've only got an hour left of your session you definitely need to make sure that they leave okay and go to the castle that is absolutely apparently the probably the most important thing to remember other than that they can do whatever they want the adventure hooks what sort of adventure hooks could you use well i'm going to suggest that strad invites the player characters to dinner as a friendly gesture and with a promise of some sort of wealth if you can't get them just as a friendly gesture, then offer some, some money, offer them some wealth. The Burgomaster of Barovia has hired the characters to save his daughter, Irina, from Strad, And Strad has Irina in the castle, and so you have to go there. Um, Strad hires the characters to find some missing children from Barovia. Children have been going missing, we don't know why, and uh, when they actually get to um, Castle um, Ravenloft, um, Strad will reveal that he thinks it's werewolves that have stolen the children during the dinner. And then, of course, that will be their quest to go and deal with the werewolves. Um, this is just to represent that maybe Strad is sick and tired of the werewolves interfering with his plans and he's decided to wipe them out and use the player characters to do that. But they're never going to get a chance because he's probably going to kill them. <laughs> it's all a ruse. It's all a deception. Uh, the last one I'm going to suggest is the fortune teller, Madame Ava, requests that the characters kill Lord Strad in her land of Barovia and offers a bounty to do so. And the reason for this is to save the Vastini children, okay, from the same fate of her people, because every Vastini in Barovia is bound to Strad and must um, basically be a servant. Uh, and and she doesn't want the children of um, her people to be under the same sway. And that would be a really good way of sort of building it in and, and, and continuing on the, the story. Uh, the next one is, um, let's go with the middle. What do we do in the middle? The player characters are going to arrive at Castle Ravenloft and get introduced to Lord Strad over dinner. Strad presents the false persona of a misunderstood lord uh, willing to help the characters and doesn't understand why everybody hates him. Okay, <laughs> we're, we're not going to present him as I am an outwardly evil individual. We're going to trick them. Uh, the player characters explain their visit to um, Strad's castle, whatever the reason is, whatever hook you decided to use, and Strad offers to help them in the morning. Uh, <laughs> so even if it is, if even if they've come to actually kill Strad, Strad will explain, like you know, maybe I can have a discussion with uh, the townsfolk or um, Madame Ava and explain that actually, you know, I totally understand where she's coming from, and I, if we can sort out any misunderstanding, then sweet, we'll, we'll let's do that. Let's do that in the morning. But unfortunately, there's a bad storm uh, after dinner. And it develops uh, quite quickly, and the characters are offered uh, a room to stay and sleep in till the morning. Like, there's a, a place to stay here. You're welcome to stay. And the reason being is you really can't go and leave because the storm is so bad that even the carriage ride would be dangerous. So, you know, the best thing is to stay uh, in the castle overnight. When the player characters are in their bedrooms, they will hear strange uh, sounds and noises, odd things will start to happen, and dark things or creatures will try to break into their bedroom and kill them. This will force the player characters to freely explore the castle. We want them to go anywhere they want to go, uh, till Strad actually confronts them, and we're going to actually build this in. Ultimately, the players determine what encounter locations you will run, and you won't, you will not be running everything. You'll just be running what they actually um, decide to explore. And the end of this, like, how do we actually end this? Because we've got to finish on time. No matter what happens or what is currently happening, Strad von Zarovich must confront the player characters if they have not confronted Strad already. Okay. Strad will attack the player characters after giving a brief conversation or having a brief conversation revealing his true nature and motivations. I don't mean a monologue. Okay? This is not an opportunity for them to get in a, um, a quick strike on Strad. But he will uh, then reveal his true motives to them. It can be as short as one or two sentences, people. And then you can go into whatever will be a battle. Essentially, there is going to be a fight. Um, now, when you bring in Strad... This is going to take place on a timer. And this timer is 45 minutes to 60 minutes before the session is scheduled to end. So if you only have two hours, it's going to happen in the last hour. This is when Strad, the Strad battle will take place. If you have three hours, it'll be, in the, it'll be in the last hour. So you play for two hours and then Strad shows up. 
or in the last 45 minutes. Um, if you have four hours to play, so it's it's always going to work, no matter what. The only time it won't work is if you have a session that's only an hour long, okay? <laughs> uh, and if you're trying to do uh, a one shot in one hour, I can't help you. Now, conclusion. What's going to happen ultimately once they confront Strad? Well, two things probably. Strad is defeated and the quest achieved so the player characters can leave Barovia. Or the player characters are sucked dry by Strad and join a long line of tormented souls and Strad is victorious again. And that's essentially it. It's as simple as you can imagine. It, it doesn't require uh, lots of changing things. You don't have to get too complicated about any of this. Make it simple for yourself, don't make it difficult. Now I'm hoping that this was useful to you and you found it helpful if you have some advice you would like to offer or you have questions, put them in the comments section and let me know. And hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s.